Hello, this is Nicole from Traffic Stars. Today I'll show you how to add a website and create an ad spot in your Traffic Stars account. First, log into your Traffic Stars account. Click on the red button that says Add a new ad spot. You'll be taken to the Sites List page. Click on the Create Site button on the upper right corner of the screen. Fill in the name and complete URL of your website. Make sure you remove the forward slash of the end of the URL, otherwise you might get an error. Then click Create. You'll see a message saying Website was created. Now you can go back to the Sites List page where you will see your newly created website with a pending status. This means it will be reviewed by our compliance team. We recommend you wait until your website is approved to add ad spots as they will be automatically activated. Alternatively, contact the publishing team to activate the ad spots once the website is approved. So let's look into the ad spots list page. Here you'll see a list of your existing ad spots. To create a new ad spot, click the create ad spot button on the upper right corner. You'll be taken to the ad spot setting page. To find the ad spot name, the name should represent the placement of your ad spot in your website to help advertisers know what they are targeting. For example, mobile footer, desktop instant message, mobile postitial, desktop NTV, mobile pop under, etc. Next, choose the website for which you want to create the ad spot and the device. Then select the ad format. You can choose between the different banner formats, pop under or native. For more details on how to create a native ad spot, check out our tutorial, how to create a native ad spot. Finally, let's look at the rules field. The rules represent the type of ads you want on your website. By default, all rules are selected when you create a new ad spot in our system. By unticking a box, ads which fit that description will not be displayed on your website. Make sure you go over the list and remove any type of ads you don't want on your website. We recommend that you click the Google Friendly Creatives Only button to ensure that creatives running on this ad spot are Google compliant. Now click on the Create button to create your new ad spot. If you want to add more ad spots, the rules you selected for the first spot will remain selected until you exit this page. Now let's go back to the ad spot list page. You can see your new ad spot on the list. Please note that because this ad spot was created on a pending website, it is currently inactive. Therefore, you can see a red bar next to the ad spot ID column. Active ad spots will be shown with a green bar next to the ad spot ID column. Now it's time to implement this ad spot on your website. To grab the code for your ad spot, click on the green code button. Let's look at the pop under code example. Here, you will find a few extra settings and the possibility to disable blind clicks, enable categories and sub IDs. Make sure to select the category checkbox to add a category parameter to your code. Please set up to pass us keywords and categories from your system in order to allow advertisers to target your traffic via categories, resulting in better performance for advertisers and higher eCPMs for you. Select the sub ID checkbox if you'd like to pass sub ID information. You'll be able to view custom stats for the ad spot on the statistics page, grouping by sub ID. For banner ads, you will have different codes depending on which type of ad spot you want to implement, a regular banner, instant message, or postitial. That's it, select the code option you prefer, JavaScript or iframe, and implement it on your website. If you have any doubts, don't hesitate to reach out to your account manager or our publishing team, and stay tuned for more tutorials like this coming soon.